I think every successful pharmaceutical company or biotechnology company that's working in this industry, it's extremely important to focus on the patient and how important it is that we address an unmet medical need. People are always questioning what's new about your technology. How do you know it's gonna, you're gonna succeed? Now the entire pharmaceutical industry, it's in the business of suppressing disease. Whether it's cholesterol, pain, inflammation, swelling, headaches, whatever it is, it's suppressing it. Cancer, suppress, suppress, reduce, reduce disease. But that disease was caused by what? By a protein that was missing. If you can just simply replace that, all those diseases can go away. We knew that mRNA on its own cannot get inside the cell. So if this delivery technology, this platform could take the mRNA and get it into the right place, then we could figure out what to use it for. That was the idea for the company. And, uh, and at the time, you know, in 2013, their mRNA was a dream. I'll never forget the morning. It was, it was a September morning in 2013. It was on a Sunday morning, it was like 7 a.m. And Pad uh, called me and all he said was check your email. That's when we saw the first data. It was the best data we've ever seen in our entire career. The reason why the data was so exciting is because we identified a delivery technology that could safely and effectively transport RNA molecules to where it needed to be and replace the protein that you're missing. So where do you take a new technology into? Well, rare diseases, because rare diseases have such a high unmet medical need and they're devastating and other therapies aren't reaching it. When a disease affects a lower amount of patients, less than 200,000, it's considered an orphan disease. It was kind of heart-wrenching for me to learn that they're sometimes called orphan diseases because most of these larger biotech companies or pharmaceutical companies don't really pursue developing therapies for this, such a small you know, population set. So this is a decision that the company made to play a role in, in orphan diseases because it believes it's a, a major need for the patient and for the family. Cystic fibrosis is a genetic disease that affects approximately 100,000 people worldwide and over 30,000 people in the U.S. It's a condition that is caused by mutations in the cystic fibrosis transmembrane regulator gene, which I'm now going to call CFTR for convenience. On the surface of your airway, there are these little projections called cilia, and the cilia beat in unison on top of the cilia is the mucus and all the stuff that you breathe in, pollen, bacteria, viruses, and whatever that you breathe in, that your mucus catches and the cilia helps sweep it out of your lungs. What happens in cystic fibrosis is when the CFTR is absent or doesn't work well, the cilia, instead of beating, that they actually can't move. So people with cystic fibrosis accumulate this thick, sticky, dehydrated mucus in their lungs. It's like flypaper to various things that you breathe in. And so there's this kind of a, a cycle of events where the mucus builds up, the, the bacteria get in there and cause infection, inflammation goes out of control, makes more mucus, and then the cycle begins again. I was hoping to see something transformative or curative for cystic fibrosis, something really transformational that would really, really get at the root cause of cystic fibrosis and fix it. And that's what we've seen in the last decade or so with what's termed uh, modulators of CFTR function. But the one category that is not covered by CFTR modulators is the one where there's absolutely no protein made whatsoever. So you can't work on it. It's not like a dented car that you can try to fix. The car isn't there. You have to pretty much make it anew. That's what attracted me to go to work at Arcturus. 
because Arcturus is one of the companies that's working on creating something where there was nothing there to work on in, in the first place, right? The majority of the diseases that we're seeing in people is because you inherited a bad copy of a specific protein. The, the blueprint to make protein is your mRNA. So how can mRNA help? mRNA is a natural molecule that's created trillions of times a day in everybody's body. The M in mRNA stands for messenger. The messenger simply reads our DNA and like a chef with a recipe, it uses those instructions to make every part of your body function. For those who have cystic fibrosis, science provides the recipe and your own body then follows that mRNA recipe to create the protein that you're missing. The CF molecule that we want to target, it, it is in the lung. How can we take these nanoparticles and figure out a way to nebulize them? That was a big challenge. We spent uh, almost three years just developing the technology, making sure that we can get it into, into the lung. The solution is clear, and there is an ideal one. And that is you inhale a messenger RNA therapeutic, then these messenger RNA molecules get inside these cells in the lung. And once they get inside, nature takes over and creates a completely normal uh, CFTR, a transporter. So if one can restore the, the CFTR to the membranes, then hopefully that would solve all the problems. That's going to the root cause and, and help the body fix itself. There's over 1,700 different versions of cystic fibrosis. Every single one of these uh, versions of CF can be addressed with one solution, and that is a, a complete messenger RNA printing off a healthy, normal, complete CFTR. And every single one of these patients can, can be impacted by having a normal transporter. They all want the same thing. They just want a functional, normal chloride ion transporter in their bronchial epithelial cells. And the solution is very simple, it's messenger RNA. The ultimate goal is to be able to treat young children before they develop the chronic changes of lung disease and be able to prevent that from happening in the first place. Mm -hmm.